Welcome back to the Pen and Inkwell. So today I've got a pen. I'm really lucky to have a look at this pen. It hasn't long been out and not every retailer has got this pen either. So I want to first of all say thank you to the Pen and Paper in Cardiff and for loaning me this pen to have a look at. Very grateful for that. So this is a German pen. It's the new offering by Lamy and you've seen plenty of my other videos well if you haven't you there'd be you can have a look at my other videos where i've looked at the all stars i've looked at the safaris i also looked at the accents very recently but this is the other end of their their scale this is the other end of their you know their model and their range line this is quite it's more on the expensive side of their you know of their pens but we are going to look at what they've got on offer here. So this is, let me just look at the, show you, I mean, this is what we're just looking at as far as the box is concerned. Quite a lovely box. So this is, put this down for you. This is the Lamy Emporium. I'm going to look at this in further detail and tell you what I like about it tell you what maybe I'm not as keen on about it and then um, I'll do a writing sample right at the end but say this has been loaned to me it is going back um, I've been in no way compensated for this review just to let you know so it is just what I think of Lamy's new pen it's a gold nib on this pen um, I haven't tried one of Lamy's gold nibs before so it's a new experience for me as well looking at this so again thank you to the pen and paper I'm going to turn you around now shortly and I'm going to show it to you in further detail and in far closer detail. Thank you. So welcome back to the Pen and Inkwell. So we're looking at the Lamy Emporium and this is how this comes. Quite an impressive box to begin with. So this is the box that the Emporium comes in. It also comes in a white box to side this but I didn't feel you really needed to have a look at that in any sort of great detail. So it has simple sort of quite a large box Lamy written on the top there, the rest of it, as you can see, quite plain. It's not the easiest box to get open actually, it's quite stiff. Let's get that open from there. So let's go out and you can have a look at. So it has Lamy, design made in Germany. So this is like a sort of velvety material to this it's quite luxurious i have to say and the pen then is held in by this ribbon and an elastic underneath that then it has a, a loop underneath here on the side here so we open that up i'm afraid to pull it too hard that just opens to the sides there and then under there then we have the booklet on the lamy emporium pen a cartridge and then this polish rag here because this is quite a matte finish pen so it's going to get marks on it so it's there then for you to polish the pen I presume then afterwards so let's put this back in and we'll take this out and we'll move everything else aside so this is the Lamy Emporium let's get a bit closer to look at this in more detail so this is a platinum, this actually, this is called titanium matte and platinum design. It comes in three different colorways. It's this one, it comes in a black with black fittings on it, and then it comes in a black with gold clip on that and gold trimmings on there. Um, it is, it's described, it's a met, it is a metal body and um, it's sort of described as having it's so been partially galvanised and high quality materials being used in this pen and it does you can see that it's high quality and it feels high quality and these what they call um what is it that they're calling these they're calling them like a guilloche design that's it and they're calling this a guilloche design around this pen so you'll see first of all it, it contrasts so we have these sort of ribs almost right the way around this pen here and then the cap it, in complete contrast is very plain very understated and is this sort of matte polished design the clip has the Lamy logo on there 
and it is a spring loaded clip it they say it's very high quality and it's a very modern looking pen i think um it's almost i'm always going to sort of contradict myself really it's it's somewhat sort of 70s sort of design i think um but also i think it's sort of quite futuristic looking so let's take this it is a just at the top here we'll see you can see at the top where the clip is spring goes in and is spring loaded there and then the bottom here has you know quite an understated end barrel there and if you can see right the way through this this is ribbed all the way around this guilloche design that they've got here so let's unscrew this cap and put it aside so you can have a look so it is a screw cap and then these ribs continue then on the grip section but it's the other way around where these are vertical these then go the opposite way and are horizontal and do you know what? I thought when I first saw it, I thought these will really get in my way when I'm holding it as far as the grip is concerned on this pen, but they don't. They're actually really comfortable and it stops any form of slippage when you're holding this pen. It can be posted. I wouldn't post it. It becomes a very long pen when you're posting this, so I wouldn't choose. It becomes very, very top heavy with that poster so I wouldn't choose to post this pen it doesn't need to be posted fairly well balanced when it's not um so this is the nib on this so this is a gold plated nib this is a 14 karat gold nib and it's two-tone in the yellow gold you can see there as well and this is a fine nib and you can see it's marked there Lamy and it's marked 14 karat gold they look very similar to all the other it looks very similar to all the other lamy nibs um, but this is a smoother nib it is a gold nib so therefore theoretically it should be a smoother nib to write with as far as design is concerned actually let's look at filling system if we unscrew this we'll have a look at the filling system quickly so this is a converter pen i haven't got any ink in this i'm sending this back um Phil loaned me this pen very kindly from the pen and paper in Cardiff. I don't want to fill it with ink, so I'm going to dip this pen to do a writing sample in a, in a moment. So I haven't filled it, but it comes with the converter pen. And it screws back up there. And you can hear the sort of quality of it. And it does feel like a high quality pen. Personally, I'm a little disappointed, I think, at the nib design. I think I'd be looking for something... I don't know what, I think something a little bit different from their sort of usual nib design. But then some might sort of think, you know, their usual nibs, they work really, really well. Um, but I think for a pen of this price, I mean, this does retail at £295. So it is not cheap by any stretch of the imagination. It is an expensive pen that you would think about sort of purchasing. But it is a nice looking pen. You took this out in a business meeting or you used this, you would know and people would know that you were using a nice quality pen. Um, I don't know what it is that I'd like to see on the nib, but I think, you know, just maybe a slightly different design on there, something different that I haven't seen before from Lamy, maybe. But then they are sticking to that same design nib, you know, it is on all the others on the studio as well. So to say, I like it. We're going to do a writing sample shortly. I am I am pleasantly surprised with it. It is a understated pen, but very stylish, I think is probably the way to put it. We'll do a writing sample, and I'll be back with you very shortly. Bye-bye. So let's do a quick writing sample with this Lamy. So this is the Lamy Emporium. And this example here I've got is with a fine nib. And this is titanium matte and platinum finish to this pen. It it, it is a very smooth nib. It does there is a it's bizarre, there is a noise to it when you're writing with it that I haven't noticed before on other Lamy pens. But there is there is a noise which sounds like it's scratching, but it really isn't scratching. 
hear it there it is very smooth it's not catching at all so I don't know what it is that's causing that I can't really give you um, any details as to whether this is a wet nib or not because I'm only dipping this at the moment but as far as the line is concerned let's get closer into that so you can see that this is a fine nib and in actual fact it's this one is on the narrower end of the fine I would say it's, it's closer to some of the extra fine nibs that I have in the steel versions of these nibs so to say you know this is what we're looking at here so we can focus that in a little bit there it is I say apologize for the ink that's on that nib there but this is you say it is two-tone it has that gold finish at the end but what I like so much about this pen smooth go back out is this grip section it is lovely to hold it's a very comfortable pen that I would write for quite some time with there's no skipping at all on there but again I am just dipping this pen but I don't anticipate any I haven't had any with anything else um, ink wise sorry this is you might just be able to see the bottle actually in the background very go-to ink color this is waterman blue black one of my favorites so please let me know what you think I'm gonna put the cap back on that let me know what you think leave a comment below let me know what you either what you like about the pen maybe what you not don't like about that pen or if there's any other questions you want me to answer about the pen again thank you to Phil and his team for loaning me the pen to have a look at be getting it back to you very quickly I promise um, and I'm very privileged to have had the opportunity to try it it is a nice pen whether I would choose to spend that pen it isn't quite my cup of tea as you'll know from what I say I personally wouldn't choose to spend that sort of money on this particular pen but it is I think it is worth that money because it is very high quality it does feel high quality it's just not my personal taste for that sort of money side of things so say leave a comment, subscribe to my channel and like the videos. But again, thank you very much everybody and I'll see you again shortly. Bye!